the Pukua's interchange stands as a testament to Ghana's infrastructural progress and commitment to improving urban mobility. Located in the northwestern part of Accra, this four-tier interchange is the first of its kind in West Africa and one of the most complex road projects undertaken in Ghana. This ambitious project not only aimed at alleviating traffic congestion, but also at stimulating economic growth and enhancing the quality of life for residents. The journey of the Pokuaz interchange from conception to completion is a story of political will, technical expertise, and the drive for national development. The idea of constructing an interchange at Pokwasa was born out of the urgent need to address the severe traffic congestion that plagued the Accra and Sawam Road, a critical arterial route connecting Accra to various parts of the country. This route had become notorious for traffic jams, causing significant delays and economic losses. The Pokwas Junction, in particular, was a major bottleneck, exacerbating the situation. The initial concept of the interchange was formulated during the administration of President John Evans Atta Mills of the National Democratic Congress, NDC. The project was part of a broader vision to modernize Ghana's road infrastructure, improve traffic flow, and promote economic activities. The government recognized that the congestion at Pokwas not only hindered local commuters, but also affected regional trade, given the road's strategic importance. Comprehensive feasibility studies and design works for the interchange began in earnest in 2012. These studies included traffic analyses, environmental impact assessments, and engineering design evaluations. The project aimed to create a multi-tier interchange that would separate traffic streams and reduce the pressure on the existing road network. The design proposed a four-tier interchange, incorporating flyovers, ramps and underpasses to facilitate smooth vehicular movement. The interchange was planned to connect four major roads, the Accra and Sawam Road, the Kwabenya Road, the Awashi Pokuaz Road, and the Pokuaz Kwabenya Road. This integration was expected to transform the area into a major transport hub, enhancing connectivity within Accra and beyond. The commencement of the Pokuaz Interchange project was made possible through a significant financial partnership between the Government of Ghana and the African Development Bank, AFDB. In 2016, the AFDB approved a loan facility of $83 million for the project. This funding was crucial in turning the conceptual plans into reality, providing the necessary financial muscle for the large-scale construction works. The groundbreaking ceremony for the Pokuaz Interchange took place in July 2018. The event marked the official commencement of construction activities and was attended by key government officials, representatives from the AFDB, local chiefs, and community members. President Nana Addo Dankwa Akufo Addo of the New Patriotic Party, NPP, officiated the ceremony, emphasizing the government's commitment to infrastructure development as a catalyst for economic growth. The project's groundbreaking symbolized a significant milestone in Ghana's infrastructural development agenda. It was not just a construction project, but a statement of intent by the government to address the long-standing issue of traffic congestion and to improve the overall urban experience for Accra's residents. The construction of the Pokuaz interchange was divided into several phases to ensure systematic progress and minimize disruptions to existing traffic flow. The phases included This phase involved site clearance, the relocation of utilities, and preparation of temporary traffic management systems. It was essential to create a conducive environment for the main construction activities. The construction of the interchange's foundation was critical. It involved extensive earthworks, piling, and the establishment of concrete bases for the flyovers and ramps. 
This phase focused on building the main structures of the interchange, including the flyovers, underpasses, and ramps. Advanced engineering techniques and materials were used to ensure durability and safety. The final phase involved laying asphalt, installing road signs, and implementing landscaping works. This phase also included the integration of traffic management systems to ensure the smooth operation of the interchange. Like any major infrastructure project, the Pokwas interchange faced several challenges during its construction. These included securing land for the project, required negotiations with local landowners, and the provision of fair compensation. The government worked closely with the affected communities to address their concerns and ensure a smooth acquisition process. The relocation of utilities such as water pipelines, electricity cables and telecommunication lines was a complex task. Coordination with utility companies was essential to avoid disruptions to essential services. Maintaining traffic flow during construction was a significant challenge. Temporary diversions and phased construction schedules were implemented to minimize disruptions to commuters. Despite these challenges, the project progressed steadily thanks to the concerted efforts of the contractors, engineers, and government agencies involved. The Pokuas interchange was completed in July 2021, marking the culmination of three years of intensive construction work. The project was completed within the scheduled time frame and budget, a notable achievement in the context of large infrastructure projects in the region. The official commissioning of the interchange took place on July 9, 2021. The event was attended by President Nana Addo Dankwa Akufo Addo, officials from the Ministry of Roads and Highways, representatives from the AFDB, local chiefs and residents. The commissioning ceremony was a moment of pride for the nation, symbolizing a significant leap forward in Ghana's infrastructure development. In his inauguration speech, President Akufo Addo highlighted the importance of the interchange in addressing the traffic congestion issues in Accra. He praised the collaborative efforts of all stakeholders, including the previous NDC administration, for their role in conceptualizing the project. The president emphasized that the Pokuas interchange was a national asset that transcended political affiliations and demonstrated the government's commitment to improving the lives of Ghanaians. The NDC played a crucial role in the early stages of the Pokwas interchange project. During the administration of President John Evans Atta Mills, and subsequently John Dramani Mahama, the initial feasibility studies and designs were conducted. The NDC administration recognized the need for such an infrastructure project and laid the groundwork by initiating the preliminary planning and securing the commitment of the AFDB for funding. The NPP, under the leadership of President Nana Addo Dankwa Akufo Addo, saw the project through its execution and completion phases. The NPP administration prioritized infrastructure development and ensured the timely release of funds, effective project management, and coordination with contractors and stakeholders. The NPP's commitment to completing the project demonstrated a continuity of governance that prioritized national interest over political differences. The primary benefit of the Pokwas interchange is the significant reduction in traffic congestion. Commuters now experience smoother and faster travel times, reducing the stress and economic costs associated with long delays. The interchange has enhanced road safety by eliminating the chaotic intersections that were prone to accidents. The well-designed flyovers, ramps and underpasses ensure safer vehicular movement. The improved traffic flow has stimulated economic activity in the surrounding areas. Businesses have benefited from easier access, leading to increased trade and commerce. The interchange has improved connectivity between different parts of Accra and its environs.
this has facilitated better access to essential services such as healthcare, education, and markets for residents. On a national scale, the Pokuas Interchange has contributed to economic development by improving the efficiency of transportation. This, in turn, has positive impacts on trade, investment, and productivity. The construction of the interchange created numerous jobs for local workers, from skilled engineers to laborers. This provided a boost to the local economy and improved livelihoods. The successful completion of the Pokwe's interchange sets a precedent for future infrastructure projects in Ghana. It showcases the country's capability to undertake and complete complex engineering projects. The Pokwa's interchange enhances Ghana's position as a regional hub for transportation. Improved road infrastructure facilitates the movement of goods and people within West Africa, promoting regional trade and integration. The modern infrastructure exemplified by the Pokue's interchange attracts foreign investment. Investors are more likely to invest in a country with reliable and efficient transportation systems. The completion of such a landmark project enhances Ghana's international image as a country committed to development and progress. It demonstrates the effective use of international loans and aid for tangible national benefits. The Fortier Pokwas Interchange is a landmark achievement in Ghana's infrastructural development. From its conception during the NDC administration to its completion under the NPP government, the project exemplifies the importance of continuity in governance for national development. The interchange has brought significant benefits locally, nationally and internationally, transforming transportation in Accra and setting the stage for future infrastructure projects in Ghana.